I think talking about toxicity is very important. I think toxic players and the toxic behavior is so wildly inappropriate and unnecessary because all of these young players who, you know, their minds are easily able to be kind of like um, molded. They're watching these streamers, they're watching these players, they're seeing this toxic behavior and they're starting to learn that it's an, an acceptable behavior and it absolutely under no circumstance is acceptable. Something needs to happen, something needs to change. What's up dreamers? Welcome to Driving Vibe and today we're talking about toxic behavior. I, I, I keep seeing this, it's like, it's so strange because I just talked about this in a video, I posted it. Uh, I don't know when this is gonna be posted, but in relation to this, several days before. And now I'm starting to see this pop up my timeline. It's so kind of creepy how that works, right? My timeline on, on Twitter, because I post on Twitter, right? I barely browse social media. I'm just throwing it out there, okay? I think social media is good for some things, uh, but I barely browse it because of what it, my feed provides me sometimes. And what I saw today was a bunch of toxic behavior and it's just unbelievable. There's a very, very big streamer that exhibited, uh, like one of the biggest streamers, exhibited some serious, toxic, like name calling, uh, just ruthless, like, like speech. And it's like, this person has so many people that look up to this, this streamer. Lots of which are probably young, younger kids who minds are still being molded. Like you're give you're, you are giving off an example and it's a bad example. And you know that, you know that you're toxic. You know that you're like it, this. I don't know if this person has, has kids or not. I like off the top of my head, don't really know. I don't follow that many. I mean, I follow streamers, but I don't follow their personal lives. I don't know if they have kids, but I know you wouldn't want your kids to act like that, that like, or, or say that kind of stuff to other people. You would probably discipline them, right? Like you just can't, if, especially if you have that kind of, and this isn't the first or the last time I'm going to see this, but it's like, you have to think before you speak. I know that I'd uh, like, I'm one to talk. I think I don't, I don't exhibit toxic behavior as much as I can. Like I, that almost never, I never, I almost never slip up with that, but I do, I do, speak sometimes before I actually think about it but and but it does it's not like it's not really ever in that regard like I think about things before I say it like I'm especially if you're behind a keyboard like if you're gonna type to somebody if you're gonna type to somebody think about what you're about to say like first of all it's it shouldn't impact like if somebody if somebody were to send me some sort of hate mail or whatever it's not going to negatively impact me because i don't know what that person's going through see this is my mindset though right like i'm i have this mindset where i'm able to kind of navigate through this some people some people you know might not like they might just take it as an attack and let, let it negatively affect them but like i don't know where that person is that's coming to attack me i don't know what's going on in their life maybe they're just having a bad day or maybe they're just a toxic person. I'm like, I don't need any of that. And it's just not gonna, like, if I, if I stop looking at the screen, it's not gonna negatively or positively impact my life. It's not gonna impact me at all, right? But there's a lot of players or a lot of people, especially the young, the young players and people who might not be able to navigate through that kind of, uh, you know, like emotion, right? So you have to be careful. Like people just need to be careful with what they're saying. Be be more kind. I mean, why are you trying to be a keyboard warrior? I just don't. I'll never understand the level of toxicity that comes out of, especially people like. No matter how you slice it, no matter how much money you have, money money is is definitely an essential in life, but it's fake. It is literally printed paper. No matter where you are in the world, it's printed paper. And we, we trade it for things. We're literally like, we're just all a bunch of traders, right? We trade it for things that we need. It is essential, but it doesn't, no matter how much money you have, doesn't make you any better than anybody else. Every single person is a leave, living, be, a leaving being, is a living being. That makes everybody equal. Money doesn't mean anything. The fact that you're a big streamer, a pro gamer, in the grand scheme of things, in 25 years, no one's gonna remember that you're a big streamer unless you tell them especially since there's a cycle of players over and over. So have a positive impact now. And then maybe people will remember you instead of exhibiting this toxic behavior. Unbelievable, I felt like I had to talk about that. If you have anything to add, let me know in the comments. Hit that like button, helps out the channel. Hit that subscribe button for more content like this. And I hope to see everybody in the next video, everybody except for the toxic players. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I invite everybody. Later, Jay Mars.